All right, today is fun, today is cool. We are adding to my little apartment garden. We're adding some flowers and then we're also adding some lettuce, radish, green onion, and cilantro. Why? Because I have dreams of being on a homestead. I've always wanted a homestead. I wanted cows, chickens, the whole nine yards. And since I live in Los Angeles, in the, um, and in an apartment, there's no way to have any of that. So I'm kind of finding a way around it. Welcome to the additions. So, I guess we'll go with the flowers first. No, we won't, we'll go with that last. First things first, radishes. I hear crying upstairs, dear Lord. It's okay. If you're wondering where my kids are, who's watching them, is my mama, their grandma, hallelujah. Okay. Gonna... Oh, and honestly, it feels good to play with dirt. I'm a 90s kid. I played out in the dirt. Okay. Ooh. And it's a good... I don't know if y'all can see those or not. But I'm just gonna sprinkle it kind of all over. Just gonna make sure everything is covered. And I will water <coughs> again once I transfer everything upstairs. Okay, so the radishes are done. Now this pot. gonna break all this up more okay so this pot I'm putting in cilantro and green onion mind you everything here you see except for this pot from Target which was three bucks everything else including seeds and soil were all Dollar Tree I kid you the freaking not okay so there's gonna be two in here I'm gonna try to make some kind of burial not barrier, but barrier. Right. Okay, good. So, and I've already labeled these. I don't know if you could see these, but like you could see here, labeled it cilantro on that side. So, let's make a little, well, it's a little thing. Break it up. Ah, that was a really bad rip. And look at those seeds. Ooh. And some to get over here. And because green onion needs space, because it's like, it's not a root vegetable or herb or whatever, but it needs space underground. Merging all of that. Okay, so. Alright, now this side is going to have the green onion. <coughs> And I will most likely have to go down a smart, not um, Dollar Tree and get some more. Because I only got doubles of the lettuce that you're about to see. I feel like I should probably get doubles of the cilantro and the green onion. So as I start harvesting, I can just replace more seeds. Alright. Oh, and they're black. I don't know if you all can see that. So this will be hard to see. Sprinkling them in. I have a feeling around the cilantro side, green onion got over there. So we're going to see how that works out when everything starts to freaking harvest. Ooh. How about I make space so when people come, 
up the stairs, there's space. Okay. Now, the lettuce is what I was most excited about. I'm not gonna lie to you. Why? Because I, I like, I like myself, I cannot lie. So if I could grow my, my lettuce now, hallelujah. In a perfect world, I would have like bigger containers and like probably here if I could, but no. I will show you where my existing flower garden is and the situation I'm working with later. But anyway, here we are. We're about to do my little salad section. So we have romaine, we have kale, and we have spinach. And I'm trying to fit three. And I just, that was lovely that I did that to myself. Okay. I hope you all can see that. Okay. Alright, and like you can see, <clears throat> I already labeled it how I was going to do it. So over here is the lettuce, the romaine. Oh, these are interesting seeds. I am no expert. As you can tell, I probably should have soaked some of these seeds. Who knows? Yeah, it's a good thing. I did not plant both packets today. And I saved the other packet for later. Good job, Sarah. Good job listening to your intuition. Okay, now kale. Okay, so these seeds feel like they feel gigantic. Here these are. And I'm praying as I do this <clears throat> that I've given enough space so that everything can grow properly. Now the spinach. That was the kale. Don't know if I said that. The spinach seeds are kind of gigantic too. They look like little rocks. <clears throat> Sorry, there's a frog in my throat. I'm getting annoyed just listening to myself talk. Alright. Who knows if I'm just mixing up some of the, the lettuce now. Doing that. Okay. So that is done. Now. Here is a plethora. A plethora. Of. Flowers. In a hanging pot. This is going to be fun. There's not enough. Where is there? Okay, I'm gonna mix it up really good. I'm gonna add more soil anyway. <clears throat> Not soil, water. <clears throat> and this one's gonna be hanging. And pray for downstairs. That's all I gotta say. Alright, I'm just gonna try, because I'm gonna be adding a lot. Of different flowers. This is gonna be like a wild flower pot. And it's just gonna grow as it grows. But we're gonna start off with the garden mix. The flower garden mix.
Those are interesting. And now we're going to do to the other mix, the garden or the cottage. I can't read. Okay. Right now, some lavender. This is a, this I'm excited about. I've tried to grow lavender last year. It did not work. Don't know why it didn't work. Um, this time, I hope this does work. Because one here, fun fact, these, this brand of seeds, my mom has been using since I was a kid, so I know it works. And, you know, I don't know about you, but if mom used it, then it must definitely, definitely work. Because I would see that stuff actually grow. So, like I said, I know it works. And what I'm going to do with the lavender as it grows, I'm going to, like, harvest it and put it in my shower. And when I have my hot baths, it's like having a hot lavender, like, spa experience. And poppies. Yes, I feel like I'm doing my California duty planting these poppies. And that just makes me feel good for being in California and being a good citizen. I want to go to the poppy fields. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, hey, we're not completely done planting yet. I'm going to show you where we're planting this and where I'm going to be filling up some spots up in my existing garden. All right. All right, so here's the existing. And I had planted bulbs here that did not sprout. So, we're going to be adding zinnias and cosmos. Should I get all the seeds? No. Make sure you get all the seeds. Even the stubborn ones. And the step I want somebody's gotta rip the bag and just do that. Yeah, those are all out. Okay. There's that. Now, gotta figure out how to <clears throat> I'm gonna plant that up there. And then I'm gonna water and that is it. And we're going to sit and watch all this stuff bloom. So if you want to see this garden bloom and you want to see it go places, stay tuned, buckle up, do all the things, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe, like, comment. And this is April. We'll see what it looks like in June. See you in June.